Hey guys, and welcome to another segment of Rouse the World. Today we're going to be doing a quick caricature of Mr. Mike Trout playing baseball. So let's get started. All right, guys. First thing that we're going to do here is we're going to start with the brim of the hat. Um, so you get to learn how to draw a hat today. Isn't that cool? Um, just drawing the top shape. Once again, it's still a matter of doing an overall uh, outer shape of the face. And then you can just adjust the brim like you need. Sometimes you have to adjust it. Now I'm drawing the sides of the face and I'm drawing the ear. Now I'm going to uh, draw the bottom of the face. Pretty cool. I'm gonna put a little stubble on his chin. And I'm just going to add some sideburns here. And we're going to go ahead and add in his eyebrows. Okay, so we're just going to hint those in real quick. Okay, guys, now the next thing is going to be the eyes. His eyes are very uh, closed and very separated. Do not make the eyes too big on this picture or you'll lose the uh, mark. So we're just drawing this eyeball in here. Make him look right at the camera for us. We're gonna go ahead and draw the bottom lid of the eye. And now we're just gonna draw his nose in here. Pretty good guys, I'm impressed. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, draw his mouth in. And we're gonna go ahead and draw the shape of his teeth here. Now we're drawing the gum line. And now we're gonna go ahead and draw the bottom lip, guys. All right, now we're just gonna Accent the chin and the roundness of the eyes a little bit. Put some little uh, stubbles on the side of his face like in the reference. And we're now coloring in the eyebrows. Okay, let's put in the smile lines, guys. And we're gonna finish our ears here a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put the little A on the top of the hat. I know you can't really see it in the picture, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there. I believe that stands for angels. I don't really follow baseball too much, but uh, this was requested by one of my um, faithful uh, viewers. I appreciate you watching, sir. You're a gentleman and a scholar. <laughs> okay. I want to go ahead and draw his neck here. Now, for this part, I'm going to be drawing the bottom part of the body. So, um, uh, kind of just pay attention. I'm going to kind of, first of all, let you know that the drawing on the very bottom of the picture is not my drawing. Uh, I'm just using it as a reference so I don't know how body the body positioning a lot of times when you're drawing on location you will be uh, asked to draw people doing stuff and it's very important that you uh, if you don't know how to draw that you don't guess that you pull out a reference and look at it so a lot of times I, I still use reference on location and some cartoons I just happen to know in my mind I'll be doing some uh, some different ones I've been getting requests for uh, for to learn how to draw people doing things so uh, I'll try to uh, put a couple of videos out on that for you guys all right so basically just wanted to give credit to the artist that uh, did the uh, little cartoon on my wife's pink uh, 
her pink iPad. That's not my iPad, by the way. My voice is way too deep for a pink iPad. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go ahead and uh, put the shoe here. We're almost done with our uh, body. Now I'm just going to draw a little arm over here. Make him have some guns. He's about to hit a home run. Right? And realize too, guys, that because um, you, when you draw from a reference, you don't have to copy the reference like exactly the way it is. Um, what you obviously you're gonna have to change some things up because me, I use a style where my the head is a lot bigger than the body because then it's a cartoon effect. So a lot of times, like you'll see with the bat, it'll look like it's in a different position because I can't possibly use the same position that I see. In the picture so you're gonna to have to do a little bit of thinking when you use your reference but uh, I'm just kind of doing this off the fly this is gonna be the top of the back kind of coming from behind his head and then you can add your own little things to it too so I'm making it look different just coloring in his belt here okay and just you know kind of hook up my uniform to put a little of my touch on it Uh, now what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, shading in the eyes here so I'm gonna do a little shading I'm shading uh, in between the eyes and for this particular part I'm just using a, a black crayon up um, here so I'm just pressing real light I don't want it to be too overpowering I'm just gonna put shade in different areas strategically in the face to make it look a little more um, realistic but yet keep the cartoon edge on it I'm curling under the chin here underneath this arm here and in the front there's a little shade here on his leg underneath the arm here just a little bit Now I'm just darkening in his uh, eyebrows a little bit more. Adding a little bit of stray hairs to the end of the eyebrows, those always make it look a little bit uh, more, or brings out the realism. Accent lines around the eyes to show that there's a roundness to the eye and now in the back here I'm just going to draw like a little baseball diamond like I said this is just my little touch that I'm putting on it and a little you know plate a little I guess home plate or whatever he's just getting his pose on Okay, now these are some uh, uh, action lines here. You see, he's about to do his swing. He's 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 winding up. And now, underneath the brim of his hat, I'm going to darken it in just a bit, so it doesn't look like it's it, it doesn't look like it's just sitting there. It looks like there's it's actually on his head. So that's a little trick you can use there to color it underneath your hat and then just kind of blend it down like a fade into the uh, back into the white now guys I'm just doing a profile shade here on the side of the face just to kind of uh, give it a little bit more air of realism again Now I'm just giving them some uh, some fresh Nikes. <laughs> I don't think he wear. I don't know if he wears Nikes in real life, but he does in my cartoon. Okay, now we're just doing some uh, more shading with my pen here. And as I'm going through my drawing, I kind of you know just change pens when I feel like I need it for different lines. Depends on what kind of marker I use. Some markers are very good with doing all the lines.
So now guys, uh, I'm just gonna put his name here. Guys, uh, I guess that's pretty much the end of our drawing. Uh, I wanna thank you guys for watching our video and tutorial. I hope that you guys are able to learn something cool today. And uh, I hope that you continue to practice on your drawing. You guys don't forget to subscribe below. This is Harry guys and uh, I'm signing off. You guys have a good day. And uh, once again, don't forget to subscribe below.